Okay, powers of zero. Right, now this is really simple, right? Um, but you need to know what these answers are if this came up in the exam. It's only worth one mark. Okay, quite simply, I'll tell you what the answers are here. The answers is always one, regardless of whether it's a whole number, decimal, fraction, or a letter. If it's to the power of zero, it's always one. And the reason why, right, simply, it goes, it boils down to um, the rules of indices that we learn them. If we've got, for instance, x cubed, divide by x cubed, okay? Now, um, obviously with algebra, it's better to write it like this, isn't it, as a fraction, okay, to see things clearly. But when you're dividing um, rules of indices, to tell you that you've got to take the powers away. So 3 take away 3. And 3 take away 3 is 0, okay? So x to the power of 0 is 1, simply because this situation here, when you divide x cubed by itself, it is 1, isn't it? When you divide anything by itself, it's 1. It's like doing 2 divided by 2 or 8 divided by 8. It's always 1. So in this case, x cubed divided by x cubed is 1, right? And, um, you know, the rules of indices shows you take away and you get this, x to the 0. But ultimately, it's 1. And it's always the case. It doesn't matter as I said, it's number, decimal, fraction, letter.